Hey guys, this is Dr. Greg Rose here at TPI and I want to talk today about the neck. I think a lot of us have neck problems and I think uh, from working on computers all day long, cell phones, this has created even more neck problems than we've ever seen before. So let's first talk about uh, why the neck is important in the golf swing. You know, we always do a screening at TPI. In our level one class, we test how much you can, what's the mobility like in your neck. We actually try to make sure that you can actually rotate your neck 80 degrees. 80 degrees left, 80 degrees right. People are like, well, you don't really need to rotate your, degrees eight, your neck 80 degrees in the golf swing, do you? And actually what I did is I put a, uh, just one of an amateur golfer, I put him up here on our motion capture, and you can see this is neck rotation. And you can see this guy right here is getting to 70 degrees, both left and right. Average on tour, guys will get up in the upper 70s, close to 80 degrees. Because if you think about it, in the backswing, if you keep your head down, you're going to turn into left rotation really quick. As you come into impact, there's going to be right rotation. There's even a component of flexion in here as well. So believe it or not, neck mobility is really important to maintaining your posture. Now, what makes good neck mobility? And let's look at rotation first. Okay, To have rotation, that's primary. It's flexion, secondary. But to have good rotation, it's really important to not try and combine two ranges of motion. Let me explain. Your spine, and your neck included, is great at flexing forward. It's great at bending backwards. It's great at bending sideways. And it should be great at rotating. What it's not good at is doing two at the same time. So in other words, if you say, hey, flex your neck as far as you can, and now rotate, you can cut your rotation in half. You can even try it with your spine. Try and rotate with your spine, and then flex your spine, and try and rotate, and you'll realize real quick that your spine's not great at doing two at the same time. So one of the things that we don't want to do is we don't want to lose rotation. So to not lose rotation is we don't want to add another component like flexion. Flexion is this, head going forward. Now, is there anything we do in our daily life that may make our spine just live in flexion? Well, the answer is yes. There are multiple things that we see, especially with uh, different pillows in sleeping postures, technology with computers and cell phones, and even kids with backpacks and working at their desk. Most of the day now is spent in this forward head posture, whether on a phone, sitting at a desk, or sleeping in your bed, or laying in your bed with your head propped up, reading a book. All of those things, what they do is they take your head and they project it forward, and the cervical spine of your neck is forced into flexion. If you leave it there long enough, and you live like this all day long, it develops these muscle imbalances. And now, it's almost like you've shut off certain muscles that should be working, you've engaged ones that shouldn't be working, and now you just live in this forward head posture. And you think, well, it's not a big deal until you try and rotate the neck because now you're living in flexion, but I just showed you if you flex and now you try and rotate, that's a problem. And this is how something as simple as over texting with your phone can affect your golf swing. So just remember this is that because of the world we live in today, I know you're gonna use your phone, I know you're gonna use your computer, but there are a lot of things you can do to combat this, like doing some type of conditioning program to maintain good posture. Uh, making sure your sleeping position, that is so important. If you spend eight, hour, eight hours a day sleeping and your head is flexed forward while you're sleeping, I don't even care what you do, that's your biggest problem. So a quick little tip that you might not think about, work on your neck posture, neck range of motion, and it's gonna improve your golf swing. I hope that helps you. This is Greg Rose from TPI.